Um, so Lionel and I, last week we talked about uh, hat sizes. I mentioned that um, my, my this, this goes back to, to breaking a hat in. And I, I mentioned that, um, you know, I haven't worn this hat enough for it to break in. I've still got sizing tape inside it. Um, so it's just, it's not, it's not perfectly comfortable yet. And I've worn these all summer, so they fit perfectly, um, you know, and I've actually taken the, uh, the sizing tape out of these hats, and they, um, I mean, they just fit awesome. I love these hats. So that's something to be aware of, that uh, a hat is going to shrink, right, Lionel? Yes, sir. So your hat's going to shrink, and it's going to conform to your head, and this goes for straw and felt. Um, so Lionel and I were talking about how to measure your head, right, Lionel? And yeah, absolutely. So I, want I to took talk, your advice on that. So I want to talk to you guys just real quick. Um, if you're if you're on the fence about buying a hat online at, c because you don't know your size, um, I want to give you a couple little tips here, real quick. So you always want to go up a size. Uh, if you're let me rephrase that. If you are in between sizes, you always want to go to the next higher size. That way you can add some tape and allow for that hat to conform and shrink to your head. Now, there are uh, round oval, which is actually a regular oval. Um, uh, it's for a more round, if your head's more round. Uh, then you have a long oval or an extra long oval. And um, American comes in both. But uh, this is a, like a seamstress tape. And... Uh, I have one at home. We have several at uh, work, and I'm going to show you real quick how to, how to do that. So you're just going to take this tape, and you're going to wrap it around your head where your hat would sit. And you don't want it real tight, so you just, just wrap it around your head where your hat's going to sit. And then you, the best way to do this is in the mirror, but you can uh, kind of figure out all right, 22 and a half. You take 22 and a half, divide that by pi, and that gives you your hat size. I am, um, what did I, what I say? It's um, 7.18, I believe, which is right in between 7 and a quarter and 7 and an eighth. So I wear 7 and a quarter. Now, if you don't have a seamstress tape, phone charger, cable. So you can wrap that around your head, right? And you can just take a tape measure. And measure that. Divide that by pi, which is 3.14, and you've got your hat size. That'll give you a place to start, especially if you're uh, new to hats or new to buying hats on the Internet. What do we use for hat sizing? If, you wanna, um, if, you, if you're in between sizes and you go the next size up, what do you use to size your hat down if you're, um, until it's, it's broken in? weather stripping. So you can pick this up on Amazon. Um, you can ask your hat shaper to include some if you're ordering online. Um, or you can use masking tape. And if you check out the best hat video, um, there's an instruction on how to put that in there. Okay. What do you guys got? Anything else? Man, I'm just excited for this giveaway. I'm uh, same here. I, I think it's absolutely phenomenal when uh, you know, I joined the group. I think we might have had 150 members. Uh, you know, to see us at 20,000, it's uh, it's absolutely crazy. Um, you know, while we're here, I, I just personally myself want to give a big thanks to the entire moderator team. You know, it, it takes all of us to run that page, and it really does. And uh, we do. I think we do a phenomenal job. Not only us three, but the entire team of uh, of and the yep. moderators that we have do a phenomenal job with, with running this page and keeping it where people aren't, you know, having issues. And it's a really good community at this point, I think, where you can come, you can talk about your hats. You can, you know, you say, hey, I'm looking for this, blah, blah, blah. And people can tell you where to go find it at, especially with how hard it is yep. to get an American right now. And there's so many retailers of American people don't know about because they, they don't put themselves out there, unfortunately. And, you know, but, you know, a, a, it's a great word of mouth to be able to get a retailer out and be, hey, this yeah. retailer might have what you're looking for. Give them a call. I agree, hundred um, percent. Yes, absolutely. You know, we've got we've got one of the best 
groups on Facebook. It's one of it's the in my opinion it's the best open group on Facebook yeah. because uh, we have virtually eliminated um, spam and um, you know spammers can, you know from from the group. Uh, our moderation team has done a fantastic job. I really appreciate them, and I, there's no way <clears throat> Lionel and I could do this without them. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a, it's a lot of work, especially when you get up to twenty thousand people.